Hi, my name is Bohadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the equations of the lines and the planes using the vectors. So we know that the standard equations of the line in two-dimensional space is given as a y is equal to the kx plus b, where we call the k as the slope of the line, slope of the line, and the b is going to be the y-intercept. Well, uh, for example, if you are given two points, for example, P1 was the coordinates 1 and 2, and the second point, P2, was the coordinates 5 and 10, we can construct such a such an equation of a line which is passing through these two points. So we can do this in two different ways. One way would be to find the slope of the line and find the uh, y-intercept. The second one would be to construct the system of the equations. So how we're going to do this using the system of an equation. So we say that, hey, the equation of the lines through the two points should be in the form of y is equal to the kx plus b, and the dk and b are the two unknowns which we need to find. So if this line is passing through the first point p1 and the second point p2, then both of these points should satisfy this equation. So uh, basically, if I just substitute the coordinates of the first point to this equation, it should be correct like left hand side should, should be equal to the right hand side. And if I do this for the second point, it should be correct as well. So let's substitute the coordinates of the first point to this equation. So in this case, it's going to be uh, two is equal to the one times uh, K, right? Because I'm substituting X to be equal to the one, K plus B. And if I substitute this for the second equation, it is going to be 10 is equal to the five K plus B. What I'm going to do is I need to solve the system of linear equations for the K and B. So I'm going to just subtract them. It's going to be like basically two minus 10. It's going to be minus eight. So K minus five K, it's going to be minus four K, right? And the Bs are going to be canceled out. And what I will have here is K is equal to the two. So if I substitute the K to one of the equations, I can find a B. For example, let's substitute this to the first equation. The two is equal to the one times two plus B. From here, it's clear that the B is equal to the zero. So while the equation of a line, which is passing through these two points, Y is equal to the two X plus zero, right? So it's gonna be simply two X. So the question is, so what if our points are given not in 2D with the two tuples, with the two coordinates, or if it is given in the 3D, 4D, 5D, or in any higher dimensional cases. So in this case, it is going to be really difficult for us to define equations using, uh, using this form. So what we're going to do is, in order to define the lines in 3D, 4D, or in any higher dimensional spaces, we are going to use the vectors. And the idea is like this. So we are given a line and we would like to find the equation of this line. So we would like to find the equation of this line. So we, before we proceed and discuss how to find the equation of the line, we probably need to discuss why we need this equation of the line. So we need this equation, we need the equation, to find the coordinates of points on this line. So basically, if you are given some uh, x point here, like it's gonna be a point in any dimensional cases, I would like to find the coordinates of this point. So what we're given is, so let's assume that we are given a vector which is going to be parallel to this line. So let's call this vector as a V. And also we are given some point uh, uh, X zero. Okay, so we are given on this line to so two points basically. So X zero point is given uh, and the V vector is given. What we need to find is the point X. So let me put this. So we are given uh, two things. One is a point x0 on this line. So it's again n-dimensional point, right? Or n-dimensional vector x0. 
And the second thing which we are given is the vector, again, n-dimensional vector along this line or parallel to this line. So just using this two information, it appears we can create the equation. So what we need to do is we need to find the coordinates of any point along this line. So in order to do this, I'm going to construct this vector. So from x0 to the x. The previously we've learned that, hey, if you're given two points, we can create a vector, right? And the position vector corresponding to this vector is going to be the subtraction of the starting point from the ending point. So the vector, this blue vector is going to be x minus x zero. So at the same time, so this blue vector is on the line and the, uh, and the v vector is also on the line. So they are parallel, right? And the condition of the parallelity of the two vectors is that you need to be uh, able to obtain one of the vectors to multiplying by multiplying the second vector to the constant. So this should be equal to some constant t times to the v. Right? So since this vector and this vector are parallel, so they are lying on the same line, then you need to be able to just obtain one of them by multiplying the second to the constant. And from here, I'm going to write down the x is going to be x0 plus tv. And we call this as the vector equation of the line. So vector equation of the line, so uh, which contains this point x0 and which is parallel to this vector. So let's do an example to try to show you what does it mean, actually. So example. So let's say we are given the point, so x0, or so everything is going to be given in, in terms of the vectors, right? So we are dealing uh, with the vectors. So x0 is going to be given as the one, two, and minus three, and the v vector is given as four minus five and one. So if we need to construct a vector uh, equation of a line, going through this point x0 and which is parallel to this vector v, I'm just going to write this as x is going to be 1, 2, minus 3 plus 4, minus 5, and 1 times to the t. So again, so if you are going to just uh, like a, combine all of these operations, you're going to get a, just a vector. So it's going to be like a 1 plus 4t, 2 minus 5t, minus three plus t. So in this case, I just multiplied the t to this vector and I added this t vectors. So this is the vector equation of the line. So this is how it is going to look like. So at the same time, we can write this down, this vector equation of the line as a parametric equation. So in this case, so hey, we're going to say that this x is going to be a point on the line and you see, so everything is in 3D. It means that we're defining the line in the 3D. So that is why the point on the line should also have a three coordinates, X, Y, and Z, right? And this should be equal to one plus four T, T minus five T minus three plus T. So the T vectors are equal if all of the components are the same. So this is the condition, like uh, to equality of the two vectors. Only in this case, the two vectors are the same. I'm just going to equalize them. So it's x is going to be one plus four t, y is going to be two minus five t, z is going to be equal to this minus three plus t. So this is called as parametric equation, parametric equation of the same line. Uh, and this is called parametric because t is the parameter. So by just like a changing the values of the t, we can generate the points. For example, if the t is equal to the zero, what kind of point we're getting is x is going to be simply, so just substitute t to be equal to the zero to here, it's gonna be one t minus three, which is exactly as x zero, so the point which was given. So you can just take the t to be equal to the one and we can find another point on the same line. It's gonna be like a five minus three and minus two. So this is going to be another line, another point, another point. So basically by just choosing the values, changing the values of the t, we can define different points along the line. 
So this is how we are going to um, define the lines on, on the, in the higher dimensions using the vectors. So now we need to discuss how to define the planes. Planes. Equation of the planes. So in order to define the planes, what we need to be given is, so let's say we are given some plane. So this plane might be in three dimensional case or in four dimensional, it doesn't matter. So whenever we say that the dimensionality of the cases of the planes, it means that the points on that plane should be defined with the three tuple, four tuple, and so on. So we say like a three tuple is, oh, so basically using the matrix was the three rows or four rows and so on. Okay, so three tuple basically is just the three numbers which are written inside of brackets. Okay, so in order to define the planes, what we are given is, what we are required to be given is the normal vector. So we call this as a no N or normal vector. And just one point, any point X zero on the plane. Okay, so we need to be given a point on the plane. x0 and we need to be given a normal vector normal vector to the plane so the normal vector is a vector which is perpendicular or orthogonal or orthogonal to the plane okay good so let's say now we are given like this two information and just using this two information i would like to find the equation of the plane so again, I would like to ask you the same question. So what is the equation of the plane and why we need this? So we need the equation of the plane in order to find the coordinates of any point. So I would like to find the coordinates of this point, for example, and in order to be able to find the coordinates of the points on the plane, we need the equation. So let's say we would like to find the coordinates of this point x. So I can construct here the vector again this vector is going to be x minus x zero vector, right? And this vector is going to lie on the plane, okay? So is it possible to connect somehow the normal vector and this vector? Well, yes, it is possible, right? And uh, the, con the connection would be as the, the um, these two vectors are going to be perpendicular, orthogonal. So the normal vector is orthogonal to the plane. It means that it is orthogonal to all the vectors, all the vectors on the plane. Okay, to any vector you choose from the plane, it is going to be orthogonal to the end. So if you remember the condition of the orthogonality, it was like uh, you are going to multiply the uh, vector n transposed to this vector x minus x zero, and this should be equal to the zero. Well, that's it. So it is going to be a vector equation of the plane. Well, probably you don't really understand what's going on, right? So we call this as a or point um so point normal equation or vector equation point normal point normal equation of the plane or we, we sometimes we call this a vector equation of the plane okay so in order to explain you what do i mean like let's let's do an example so example so let's say we are given the normal two zips to some plane with the coordinates two, uh, four, two, and minus five. Four, two, and minus five. So at the same time, we are given the point on the plane with the coordinates three, minus one, and seven. So, well, I would like to find the equation of the plane. In order to do this, I would like to find some point was the coordinates x, y, and z. Okay, so I would like to find the points on the plane. So in order to do this, I'm just going to put everything to, to this point normal equation of the plane and see whether it is possible to do. 
So I'm going to multiply the normal vector, which is going to be four T minus five transpose. Yeah. So multiply T this vector, which is going to be X minus three Y plus one Z minus seven. And it is equal to the zero. So I'm going to multiply these two vectors as the inner product. Four is going to be multiplied to the X minus three. It's going to be four X minus 12, right? The T is going to be multiplied to the Y plus one. It's going to be T Y plus T. And minus five is going to be multiplied to here. It's going to be minus five Z plus T five. And this is equal to the zero. So well, basically if I just put everything which, which is connected with the X, Y and Z to one hand side, and all the three coefficients without the constant is the another side, what I will get is like, it's gonna be four X plus T Y minus five Z is equal to minus 25, right? So it's gonna be minus 12 plus two, it's gonna be minus 10 plus 35, it's gonna be plus 25. If it goes to the right hand side part, it's gonna be minus 25. So this is the equation of the plane, which is more familiar probably for you, right? which is also obtained from this idea that the normal vector is going to be perpendicular to all of the vectors on the plane. So let's try to define the general equation of the plane. So in general equation or general equation of the plane is given as ax plus by plus cz is equal to the d where and the normal vector is going to be given with the coordinates A, B, and C. And the X0 is going to be given as like X0, Y0, Z0. And this D actually can be found by just multiplying the normal vector to the X0. This is how we actually obtain the, 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 the vector. So let's, let's try to do another example. So another example. So if I just give you another equation of the plane, like 3x minus 4y plus 5z is equal to the 12. And if I would ask you, hey, could you please tell me what is the normal equation, uh, normal to this, to this plane, you would tell me, okay, so the normal is going to be a vector with the coordinates 3 minus 4 and 5. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like easy to get us the normal vector if you know the equation of the plane but the vice versa as well. So here is just the introduction to this topic about the equations of the lines and the planes. So uh, in, in our next videos, we're going to talk about the, some, some, some examples.